Hi everybody, Sherry Sicard, AKA Cannabis Sherry here, and I'm here today to do a demonstration of decarboxylating your cannabis in the Noids pot. Now, I did an introduction to this great cannabis cooking gadget uh, a few weeks ago, so this is a follow-up because I did want to do separate videos to demonstrate each of its functions because this precision cannabis cooking gadget, which I really love, does a whole lot. It perfectly decarboxylates your cannabis, which we're going to show you today. You can also make infusions in it like your can of butter and your can of oil. You can infuse right in the Noid Spot. And most exciting of all, you can also make FICO or full extract cannabis oil right in this gadget. So that is pretty exciting. But today we are going to talk about decarboxylating your cannabis in the noise pot. And if you don't know what decarbing is, there's going to be a link to it to a tutorial below that teaches you all about it. But in a nutshell, it's heating your cannabis to a precise temperature in order to fully activate the cannabinoids like THC and CBD in that cannabis. And if you want maximum potency out of your cannabis edibles, lab tests show that you are going to want to take the trouble to decarboxylate it first. And the Noids pot can help you to do that. Uh, it has, now this gadget uh, has separate functions for decarboxylating THC and CBD. So if you like to cook with CBD rich hemp and CBD flowers. This also has a special setting for not only decarbing it, but also infusing CBD. And before I actually get into doing that, let's take a look at the instructions for a minute. Now, um, for CBD decarbing, they recommend one and a half to two and a half hours. And if you read the instructions that come with the Noids pot, they say that that has to do with how fresh your cannabis is, its moisture levels, things like that. So you may want to put it through more than one decarb cycle if you have very fresh, moist cannabis. However, this is a precision instrument which has carefully designed temperature controls with high precision, which ensures that prolonged decarboxylation does no harm to the bioactive compounds in the plant material. So you can send it through more than one decarb cycle if you choose without doing harm to your cannabis. So as I said, there are separate functions or separate settings for CBD or THC. So CBD, uh, as I said, decarbing, they're recommending one and a half to two and a half hours at 110 degrees centigrade or 230 Fahrenheit, which is what this is set for. Now, if you're decarbing THC like we're going to do today, uh, they're recommending one and a half hours to four hours at 115 cent uh, centigrade or 239 Fahrenheit. So that's what we are going to do, and it's really simple to use this. So you take out the glass container, and if I had any complaint at all about the Noid Spot, and it really isn't a complaint, it's just if, if for those of you who deal with large amounts of cannabis and like to make really big batches of uh, cannabis, butter, and oil, and like to decarb a whole lot at once, well, you are limited to the size of this container. That's about my only complaint. Otherwise, this works great and I do think that is plenty big for most people's needs but maybe if you grow or you have a whole lot of cannabis around you are going to want something a little bit bigger in which case the Ardent FX might be a better choice although that does not make FICO so <laughs> there is a difference there so I'm just going to put this cannabis right into the container I'm kind of making a mess here a funnel might have been a good idea but oh well and we'll pick up those little crumbs. There we go, and put it in there. Um, that was a little over a half ounce, as you can see. Didn't even fill it. So you could probably decarb an ounce or so at a time in the Noids pot. I'm going to have a coupon below for this gadget, too. Uh, don't be surprised if the coupon code shows up in euros because this is a Dutch company from Amsterdam that makes this gadget, although they do have distribution centers in the U.S. where they are shipped from. So there is a discount code. It will be converted to dollars afterwards, but it's probably going to show up in euros. 
So, okay, I put that in. That's That was pretty easy, as you see. Now, to turn it on, this whole base just turns around. I currently have it in the off position, but we are going to want this symbol for decarbing THC, which is kind of the shape of a stop sign. There it is over there. So I'm just going to move that to the front. Hopefully, there it is. Hear that little tone? That tells us it's working. Maybe you can't hear it on the video, but I heard a little chime there. And uh, if you can see down there, the light has turned to green. Maybe you can't see that either, but trust me when it does. So that is going to go on. That light will change, I believe, back to white when it's finished in about an hour and a half. If I wanted to, I could opt to send it through another cycle. I don't think this needs to. This is kind of older cannabis. In fact, this cannabis may, may or may not even need to be decarbed because it is a stuff I've had for over a year now. But uh, I did want to demonstrate this, and I don't mind over decarbed cannabis because I like to use edibles for sleep time and if you over decarb, sometimes that helps your edibles become more sleepy. Little tip there. So that's all there is. I'm going to come back when this cycle is finished in about an hour and a half. I don't think I need to show you that. Uh, all I'm going to do is take it out and my cannabis will be perfectly decarbed and ready to use either as is to make some quick and easy edibles or to infuse into butter or oil or uh, to make alcohol tinctures or whatever I want to make with it. It will be ready to go. Now, uh, stay tuned and subscribe to the channel because coming up, I'm going to do future videos on how to make infusions in this thing and also uh, how to make fico in it, which I know is, is just such an exciting thing for a lot of you who use fico because that can be really expensive when you have to buy it in the dispensary. And now you'll be able to quickly, easily, and most importantly, safely make it at home with the Noid Spot. So stay tuned for those videos coming up in future weeks. I'll see you all next time. Eat your weed.